Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be covering the HMAS, Adeline, and RHIB mod by The Space Strider. These mods add a Australian HMAS aircraft carrier and a RHIB vehicle. These mods are made by the same person who made the HMAS Vampire 2, which is another impressive boat mod. So really, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off with the HMAS Adelaide, unlike their other mods, this mod is a static vehicle that is being added. Something they addressed in their mod page is that they would like to make it a full-blown vehicle, but they haven't really figured out how to do vehicle linking yet. We could see this change in the future, but even without it being a fully functional vehicle, it is still very impressive. To start, it is easily the largest object mod in the game right now, with two underground levels and a top deck that are all easily explorable. The background footage in this video is simply me navigating the ship, and it is a lot to navigate. The ship has a bottom layer that features an area where one can drive in with a different aquatic vehicle, perhaps the RHIB mod as I do here, and enter the ship. This area sports a large storage area where one could put units and other static objects if they won the Mated Game Master server featuring this mod. Going up a level we see a large massive empty floor, once again this could be populated by static objects and units if one so wanted, or it could be used to put helicopters in storage. Getting out of this level we are now back on the exterior, a small back area on the ship exists where one can use ladders to climb to the main deck from the lower deck. Now on the main deck, it is well modeled and has great collision, so you won't have to worry about clipping through it and falling to a lower floor. And you also see it's perfectly sized for pairing with a helicopter mod, allowing you to place some of these down and use this goliath of a ship as a staging point in things like Game Master or just playing around. Seeing as this mod is still in version 1.0.1, there isn't a ton to do on the ship. However, I decided to cover it out of respect for the sheer size of the project and really how cool it looks. It's an awesome looking mod. I'm really excited to see what he does. Uh, I know he's working on some functionality with the elevators. From here, we can move on to the RHIB mod. This mod adds a RHIB, which is a small, quick-moving naval vehicle armed with an MG and five seats for transportation of units. This mod, while not massive like the other mods produced by this creator, is still quite awesome, and frankly, is probably the most practical in the actual you know, use in servers. Offering an option for Game Master servers and modded conflict to add flank routes with naval without really focusing on naval warfare entirely, like what the Adelaide and the Vampire 2 do. It's balanced, having high speeds but not outrageously high speeds, hitting 80 km per hour on average at full throttle, and also being able to be taken out with sufficient MG fire. It lacks an overhead coverage, meaning you can snipe out the drivers and escort fairly easily, and all around, in addition to a Game Master round, it won't really hurt anything, it's just going to benefit it, at least in my opinion. Aside from its use in Game Master servers, it is also quite a fun mod to mess around with in private Game Master rounds. Being able to drive around on the open waves is badass, and combining this mod with Space Strider's other mods can let you get a full naval warfare experience. It should also be noted that the vehicles are very well designed from a physical standpoint. Standing and really looking at the dashboard, we get good modeling and collision all round. Watching this ship sink when it's neutralized is also a very pretty sight, at least in my opinion. That's all I've got for these two mods. I'm quite a sucker for boat mods and I love the concept of naval warfare and reforger. I hope Space Strider continues his work so possibly in the future we could have full on naval battles. But even if they don't continue their work, I really highly suggest you guys check these mods out because currently they are quite awesome and they're fun to play around with. And uh, yeah, that's it. Till next time though, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.